If you put a gun to my head and you said, hey, who's your favorite author not named Stephen King? I wouldn't have to think very long before I'd have an answer for you. That's Michael Crichton. And, and I think the coolest thing about talking about Michael Crichton lately is it made me realize that there is enough interest out there for me to go ahead and go along with this reread that I've wanted to do for a couple of years now. So uh, let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, bookworms, and hopefully soon to be Michael Crichton fanatics such as myself. Maybe you're embarking on a reread. Maybe this is the first time you're diving into the works of Michael Crichton, or maybe you just want to hear me talk about it. Hey, all those are fine here. I am going to be embarking on a what I'm calling the great Michael Crichton reread. I haven't read a lot of these books since high school. You know, a lot of these, I was a teenager. So uh, I'm hoping that when I approach them with new eyes, uh, you know, they'll hold up for me as well. But maybe, uh, maybe I'm, I feel like I'm smarter now. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll understand a little bit more of the science more than I did back then. But that's the great thing about his books is, uh, you know, you don't have to be a scientist to understand this stuff. He was able to put the, uh, the science techno babble into terms that we could all understand. I think it's what made his books so wonderful. Like I said, second favorite author of all time. Probably my most read author behind Stephen King. I don't know. At this point, I think I've read more Jim Butcher books than I have Crichton books. Weird. Weird how that works, right? Uh, but uh, I, I want to talk about uh, why I'm doing this. First of all, if you want to know more about Michael Crichton, I talked about why I think you should read him right here. That's really just where I go through uh, all the books of his that I had read, which is all of them published under his own name. No pseudonyms, uh, no Michael Douglas, no, uh, no John Lang. It's just as Michael Crichton. And uh, then also recently I did my top 10 Michael Crichton books of all time. And I, I'm wondering if that's a list that might change while doing this reread. Because like I said, it's been 25 years since I've read some of these. So I'm really looking forward to getting back into it. This isn't going to be quite like Into the Multiverse, which I'm doing with Stephen King, where I'm doing his books in publication order, and I'm talking about their uh, connections with his greater multiverse. And the reason is because these uh, Michael Crichton books are standalones. They, they, there isn't a connection. If I recall correctly, there's maybe one mention of engine industries outside of Jurassic Park and not in Lost World. Uh, but I, th I feel like that was kind of more like an Easter egg. And you know, I might be wrong about that. That might not even have happened. That's more of a, an Easter egg than these being like a, a connected world like uh, Stephen King has done. So uh, what I want to do is this is going to be monthly like I do with Stephen King. I am planning to do one of these per month and then I'll review it. And then I'm also going to talk about the movie adaptation because almost everything here has had a movie adaptation. So I'll talk about that because besides Stephen King, I don't think there's anyone who's had his works butchered on the big screen more than Michael Crichton does. So the plan is one per month over the next year and a half. That is 18 months. We're going to be starting in February with the Andromeda strain right here. Uh, then uh, Terminal Man and Great Train Robbery are going to be February or March and April, you know, respectively. So uh, easy format to follow. And I think what's really great about this is not only did we get to do all of them from Andromeda strain all the way to uh, Dragon Teeth in July of 2022, where we'll be ending it, it, it helps it where you can pick and choose. I'm going to post the schedule here. Okay, I'm going to put a nice overlay here where you can see the entire schedule. What I'm doing is, like I said, books under his own name. No John Lane, no Michael Douglas, none of that stuff. Just books under his own name in publication order. So starting with the Andromeda Strain, going all the way through uh, his posthumous release of Dragon Teeth, which when we get there, we'll talk about those posthumous releases and how uh, how legitimate I think they are. But uh, it's a fun time to kind of go over this stuff because I feel like there's a lot of people on the channel who have interest. They've had a lot of these books and they've never checked them out or they've read Jurassic Park and they never read nothing else. Uh, so I, I think it's a great opportunity. My whole goal with this is just to get more people to appreciate uh, his works because I feel like he's kind of fading into obscurity now that there aren't movies being made anymore. Uh, I've had a lot of people recently tell me, hey, you know, ER is on Hulu now and I keep seeing it saying written and created by Michael Crichton and I had no idea. Yes, the guy was a wizard. Okay, but uh, I mean, for example, he wrote Andromeda Strain 
while he was getting his MD at Harvard University, he wrote that on the side, you know, and within two years, not only had the uh, the rights to that book been purchased, but there was a big screen adaptation of it. So the guy has uh, always been a workaholic and uh, I think very ahead of his time. But uh, I, I want to talk about his books because I think that uh, they're, they're wonderful palate cleansers. I think if you're if you're on the Malazan read along or you're reading big epic fantasy series and you want a little break, these are not hard reads you know there i mean i don't think it wasn't even until like congo which was like his sixth or seventh book that uh he really got over like 300 pages these are quick reads uh and i think that they're the perfect palate cleansers i keep telling everybody read a stephen king book read a michael crichton book you know in between some of these big fantasy series that's what i did way back when and i, I think it's uh it's just great that i have the opportunity to bring this back now but what i think is a uh, really a great idea about this is is that doing it this way is you can look at the schedule and you can pick and choose which ones you want to join me on. If you want to uh, read Andromeda Strain, but you have no interest in Terminal Man or Great Train Robbery, no big deal. You can pick up in May with, uh, with uh, God, what will that be? That'll be Eaters of the Dead. You know, Pick and choose the ones that you want. I think that that's the best way to go about it. So there's no pressure here. It's like I said, these aren't connected, so you don't have to read them in any particular order. Hell, you don't have to read them when I'm reading them at all. It's just if you want to read along, you can. That's obviously always a lot of fun. There's a lot of people already on the Discord who have already picked up Andromeda Strain, and they're going to be joining me for that one. But but uh, yeah, uh, no big deal if you don't want to read them all. If you don't want to read any of them, it's not a big deal at all. You know, you just want to hear me talk about them. I always appreciate that. But I, I think that you'll find uh, more than just Jurassic Park to be really good stories by a really wonderful storyteller and one that I think is really just... Uh, at this point, I almost feel like he's become underrated just because, you know, he died in 2008. And like I said, they stopped uh, really making a lot of adaptations to his films. And I didn't hear anybody talking about him anymore. And the thing about this is, uh, guys, if you really want to get some of these uh, hard copies of these, um, I think it was someone on the Discord that said that uh, used bookstores is where Michael Crichton novels go to die. Yes, because he sold so many books, you can find used copies of a lot of his hardcovers at, at any used bookstore, uh, given that they're open right now, uh, really, relatively cheap. You know, They're not really hard to find. Uh, if you want to find some of them special editions, like I think I've got two special editions of Jurassic Park now. Uh, but, you know, that's just a wonderful book. And I have a, a very generous viewer who sent me a folio society of that. And I'm going to talk about that when we get to Jurassic Park. But, uh, guys, uh, my goal, like I said, just to kind of raise awareness for Crichton and, as always, create conversation on this channel. So I was overwhelmed by the response to that top 10 video of people saying, yes, they would love for me to cover this. And they would love to read along on some of these they've never read read before so again hit the schedule uh the only that i posted here i will post i will pin it in the comments so you can kind of grab that schedule and follow along if you want to jump on the scored and and join us in the conversation we would love to have you because i think that this is going to be a fun 18 month ride alongside going through malazan book of the fallen so uh, i think it's the perfect pairing because like i said it can really just cleanse the palate while you're going through something that epic and heavy and uh, i'm excited to do it and i'm excited that so many others are willing to come along with me so guys uh, we'll be starting uh, andromeda straight here on monday i hope that you will join us so guys if you tend to uh to join us or you have any interest at all drop in the comments let me know how you feel about this i really really hope that you will come along with me and i will talk to you there Thank you.